Hey guys, welcome back to Armored Warfare. It's Jaeger262, and like I promised yesterday, I am bringing you the flag update. And as you can see here, you'll notice right away that I was incorrect in the decal assumption. I still have the Ukrainian flag decal on this vehicle. I just assumed it would transfer over to these two flags here. It doesn't. So you will have to pay 50 gold for every flag you want to purchase, even if you already have the flag decal unlocked. But that's just one of the problems that this update um, brings to Armored Warfare. And so this is mostly going to be a bad news kind of thing uh, in terms of just what Armored Warfare is doing with their new content. But not everything's bad, and I don't want to just shit all over Armored Warfare. As you can see here, they're kind of cool, having the two flags on the back. They have their own little motion, they'll move realistically in combat. I have not unlocked the flag feature, so I won't be able to show you what they look like animated. This is pretty much it, and I want to make something clear as well. It is going to be two flags, so if you want, you can only have one flag on a vehicle. Hold on me. It reject changes. You can have a single flag on a vehicle. I'll do a couple of other vehicles here. I haven't found any vehicles that can't have flags yet. Oh, that's gross. But yeah, you can choose which flag you want, or if you want to. You can also do two different nations if you want it to. And right now it is only national flags. It's going to be, again, all the national flags are going to be the same as the decals. With the exception of, I haven't seen this one in decals, but I could be wrong, the UN banner. So that's kind of cool. You're going for a UN look on your vehicle. Yeah, reject changes. And that's pretty much it. It's nothing too, too, too special. Um, it does look nice. I'm just messing around with this now. Because I did not know you could get the UN flag. How great. How crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole update. Now here's where things go wrong. What I assumed was, and I think a lot of other players, because I've seen some people already on like the Discord or in the forums or reddit a lot of people are complaining about this new feature and the reason is that it's locked for players right now so instead of being automatically given to you which we all assumed is how it would work you actually have to unlock it and the way you do that is one simple but true to armored warfare and ultimately my.com's kind of management system it's behind a paywall. You can't unlock it through any missions or any type of event. You have to pay. And while that's normal, you have to pay for camouflage, even though some camos you can win, and some vase pains, it's not the fact that you have to pay that's so bad. It's how much you have to pay. And so you have to use 10,000 gold, and that's the only way you can unlock banners. And the reason this has got a lot of people upset is not only is 10,000 gold, I believe, Thirty dollars? Let me check. Let me check. Uh, I guess I can't add gold. All right, I can't buy gold from inside the game anymore. But yeah, I believe it's thirty dollars or more. I can't remember what ten thousand is. Cause I know a thousand was fifteen. I could be wrong. I'll get the numbers later. I'll put them in the description below. How much 10,000 gold just to buy it straight off is going to cost. And the reason that's ridiculous is that there are... Let's see if I can... Yeah, reject changes. Um, that costs more than two tier 7 premium vehicles. Alright, that's more in line to you're going to pay for one tier a so it's probably closer to 40 50 dollars my mistake but you're going to have to buy one entire tier eight 
premium vehicle, essentially, just to unlock the ability to use flags. And so it's this weird way to implement it because obviously not a lot of players are going to use it. In fact, this is probably going to dissuade a lot of people from using it. I think that's what people have a lot of problems with is it doesn't make any sense for Armored Warfare to put in this feature when almost nobody's going to use it just simply because of the cost. It's just flags. Like I said, it's cosmetic. People will be able to see them on your vehicle, but they don't actually do anything for you. It's like having to pay 10,000 credits just to, or gold, sorry, just to use camouflage or just to use decals. It doesn't make any sense why they would put that behind a paywall. And one, why that paywall is so expensive. And now here's where it gets kind of dicey. And again, I'm not going to be, this is probably going to be the last time I talk about this because there's no way I'm paying. 10,000 gold just to put flags on tanks. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but from what I hear for people who did do it, again, this is on the forums. I don't, I can't verify this part and I'm not going to pay to. So you can do it on your own if you want to. If you have a lot of gold lying around, you don't have to use it for. Let me know, comment below and tell me what it is. But I've heard that it is 50 gold for each individual flag for each individual vehicle. And so unlike decals where you can just buy a decal for 50 gold and own it for all vehicles, they're saying that each time you purchase a vehicle or a flag, so for the European Union for the Leopard, 50 gold. If I wanted to put the EU flag somewhere else, it'd be 50 more gold. Now, I don't, again, I don't know if that's true, and I don't know if that's what it means, or if it means each flag on a vehicle. So if I buy the European Union flag, I have it for all vehicles, but I can only use it once, and if I want to put it on a second time, I'd have to buy a second EU flag. Either way, players are already paying 10,000 gold to unlock flags. Just to get to use it is 10,000 gold. So the fact that after you do that, you still have to pay for each flag is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, 10,000 gold covers every single flag. It's the cost of all the flags at 50 gold. In fact, I think it's more than that. I don't know how many nation flags are in the game right now. 73. All right. Let me do this real quick. Yeah. 73 times 50, it would cost 3,600 gold. 3,600 gold to unlock every single flag right now. But it costs 10,000 gold to unlock the use of them. Why? What's the point of that? I don't know. I think this is a really weird move on Maya.com's part. Uh, it seems like a baseless, almost cash grab. I mean, there's no way they're going to make money off of this because nobody's going to pay that much money to use flags in my opinion and it's just odd why would they lock it that way it's not a feature that improves the game play or improves a vehicle it's purely cosmetic it was just for fun so I don't know why they decided to do that I think this is absolutely ridiculous I think this is a huge misstep or mistake on my.com's part uh, it's almost like they're just dangling something in front of players faces saying here's some new features but you got to pay money to use it but the new features are meaningless in this case just cosmetic so I don't know what the idea here is I don't know why they marketed this way um, or why they implemented this way rather but it just seems odd it seems like a mistake if you disagree if you're really into this idea or if you've bought flags on your own already and you've unlocked banners and you think it's great let me know in the comment section. I'm eager to have a conversation about this, but my official opinion is that they have made a massive mistake by making it cost the price of a premium tier 8 vehicle and then an additional 3,000 gold on top of that. So all total, you're going to be paying 13,600 gold or about 60 US dollars just to put flags on tanks. That is absolutely 
Uh, but not everybody thinks the same way as I do, and if you think that this is a good cosmetic you know, um, feature and you enjoy it, again, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoy the content, and subscribe if you want to see more Armored Warfare news episodes in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.